All right, man. Apparently, uh, <clears throat> they back starting the blood controversy again, bro. Um, you know, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Apparently, somebody doctored up a video with Crawford wrapping his hands and Timothy Bradley saying uh, he basically was talking. He basically took his audio from the Nuiwa hand wrap controversy. Now, now you're in Nuiwa actually end up wrapping his hands the way Foden wanted to wrap his hands. Remember that whole Foden thing was a controversy about stacking gloves and you can't put tape over the uh on the on the uh you can't put tape on the uh on on the uh Jesus Christ you can't put tape on the skin or up up on the wrist and all this and you can't go gauze uh tape gauze tape because it creates a cat, it, it makes the hands more, uh, it makes the hands more, uh, how can I say it? It makes the hands more, uh, it makes the cat more of a hard like cast. Now, that's a lot of things that, uh, that guys get away with in boxing, right? It's a lot of things that guys get away with in boxing. And when you sit in there and you start talking about, uh, uh, remember Kovalev, Bernard Hopkins, you know, made a uh, that's when people talk about how the commission it was there watching or a team there. Why a lot of times they don't know what they they looking for. You got a member, uh, uh, brother Nazim Richardson, rest in power to him. Um, shout out to Philly. Um, he caught uh, Margarito doing it while the commission and everybody else was standing there. So, you know, I'm be I think having a, a great attention to detail is, is a gift. And that's one thing that I noticed from a lot of uh, guys in the hood, a lot of street dudes I, I grew up with. They had a great attention to detail, and I think that's part of being street smart. And I think uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, who got great attention to detail, uh, don't uh, pay attention to that that gift that they got. I think a lot of people don't don't accept their natural gifts. I really think I think a lot of people don't <clears throat> they don't. Um, they don't notice the gifts that they got because it may not be shooting a jump shot. It may not be um, being good with your hands, carpentry, or being able to be a brick mason, whatever like that. I think a lot of people ignore ignore their natural gifts. And I think having an, a, gift, a natural gift for critical thinking, problem solving, I think also having a natural gift for have, being detailed, very detailed, you know, Um. But apparently, the, you know, they said, well, he's stacking his gloves in, in Nevada. I think it's legal. You know, uh, is it give him a competitive advantage? Some people believe so. But doctoring up a video, of Tim, misusing Timothy Bradley's voice to ca cause a beef between Tim Bradley and and, um, and Terrence Crawford, that's weak as hell. You know, and, you know, like boxing uh, facts over fiction says, shout out to that brother, man. Timothy Bradley could sue him. Yeah, Timothy Bradley can actually sue him. No cap. Timothy Bradley can actually sue him. He could sue him. You know, he can sue him. So uh, for doing that, but, you know, at the end of the day, they got to sell the rematch somehow. You know, you know, you know, so they got to sell the rematch somehow. And, you know, I thought they was just going to do the weight controversy. Maybe with uh, Derek James, um, uh, coming out saying, saying that uh, the weight wasn't a problem. So now I feel like they got to pivot. Now I'm not gonna say uh the boy's name who who they was cooking. I'm not giving him that promo. You know, he need to come out the closet. Let's be real. We see the stuff that he be posting, bro. Bro's a weirdo. And don't know nothing about boxing. Y'all giving him attention where he don't even deserve the attention. And that's what he liked. He liked the attention. You know, but hey, teachers on. I can't tell, I can't tell uh other grown men and women what to do. Um, but on the on the real though, they gotta sell the rematch somehow. So I, you know, I wouldn't read too much into it. 
at the end of the day, if Errol Spence do come back and beat him, you know, all these things are going to be brought up. You know, if he don't, I mean, it's just like Tyson Fury putting the cherry on top. A lot of these same people that's making these excuses for Errol Spence is the same ones that are still making excuses for Deontay Wilder after two or three fights, after two, two or three fights with Tyson Fury. Tell me I'm lying. See, I try to be as consistent as possible. All right? A lot of these guys are the same guys that's making excuses for Tyson Fury. Tell me I'm lying. I mean, for Deontay Wilder. After the third fight, I think people, I think uh, Tyson Fury gave Wilder fans that act right. I think he gave them that act right. But in boxing, it's always going to be people moving the pendulum. It's always going to be people... Um, you know, uh, move, move, moving, moving, moving it. You always going to get that. It, it ain't too much you can do about it. The, these dudes, they need to have something to hang on to, to put money in Earl Spence pocket, to put money in the pay-per-view pocket. I keep telling y'all that. What did they say? We got to get these fighters paid, man. And that's just what it is, bro. It's just strictly trolling. They got to do something to, to, to light a spark for people to be interested in the rematch again. And I told y'all, they got to either say, oh, he was injured or 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 he got a, he was injured or, you know, the weight was a problem and now they moving the weight. And I think the part of Crawford going back on his word about the weight, guess what it was? Part of it was... um. Was the leverage for more money? That's what it was. To get more money out of the pot. That's exactly what it was. You know, I knew kind of what was a little bit what was going on in the negotiations. He's a shrewd operator. Very shrewd. Very shrewd. So, and that's what he was doing, being a businessman, getting more money. And people said, well, Terrence Crawford, you know, uh, he looked out for for him. And uh, I mean, he looked out for Crawford and did Crawford. He also did a lot of dirt. One good deed don't make up for a thousand sins, no matter how big the deed, uh, the deed you done it is. Karma is karma. You know, that's what I say. Karma is karma. You know, you know, karma is karma. You know, and, and people always look at karma. I say this, you know, in a negative light. Everybody look at karma in a negative light, but not necessarily. I mean, it's what you, the good you put in and the bad you put in. But it's really never what you expect that come back to you. You know, sometimes your karma extends your life. You know, and when you when you do get big blessings from the man above, whoever you believe in or you atheist, whatever, you just believe in good energy, bad energy, what goes around comes around. When you do, when you do get that, man, it's, it's stuff that you, it, it come right on time. It be in times where you're in a dark place. It's times you could you don't think you can go on. It be times that you be in, I'm in the bond, Nate. You be in the bond, and and you know God come through. The Most High come through. It's right on time. But all, all this is is just a tool to troll for attention and to sell the rematch. That's it. Somebody somebody got to speak on the on the behalf of of, of Errol Spence. You know, somebody got to speak on the behalf of that boy. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. So, you know, y'all can read into that if y'all want to. Um, I don't really put much stock into it. Um, yeah, I don't put too much stock into it. It is what it is. Um, but, uh, but, um, but you know, I wouldn't even respond to it. But that's what they do in boxing. Real talk. That's what they do in boxing. 
They sit there. They diminish. And this is why guys don't take chances. They sit here. They diminish your accomplishments. And you wonder why these guys don't want to fight nobody no more. You know? But here we go, man. Um, uh, so basically, Buzz said the WBA ain't gave him his belt yet. So, yep, he said the WBO ain't gave him his belt. He won his belt. Um, he need his belt. Uh, so, yeah, but Bud won his belt. Bud won his belt. So, apparently, WBO ain't gave his belt. I think somebody else had a problem getting a belt from a sanctioned belt body. Um, it might have been the WBA. I, I forget who it was. I think it was another black fighter who had an issue getting a belt. Couldn't pretty much remember who it was. And talking about they need to send a belt or whatever. So, at the end of the day, um, even though it is plastic and pleather, people want their belt. All right? Even though it's plastic and pleather, people want their belt. You know? So you earned it, you know. If you don't know when they fight, the you know the champion who wins, whoever if the if, if somebody take the belt from the champion, the belts go back with the champion. You get the belts back to them. Them belts is Earl Spence belts, and they mail you your own belts. You know, they mail you your own belts. So that's that's something that's something. Uh, if you didn't know, that's something that 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 is that does happen. They mail you your own belts. So, I mean, you got to, you know, but, you know, that's what it is, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance and get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram. Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out the Box News playlist. Peace.